Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are back to Mystery Trackers The Void. And this is the first Mystery Trackers game, and it is kind of insane. We are investigating this dude, and she is Odd Punk, who was like working with alchemy and set up like a zoo circus behind his house with like a full mountain range in it. And there's like these troll characters and his evil twin, I guess, is trying to kill us. And we are currently, I think, trapped in a train car full of dead musicians. And that's all I remember from last time we played. And he goes to find, well, whatever his name is in this. Yeah, I don't know what he has against musicians. All right, let's get going here. Oh, we're not in the train anymore. We must have gotten out. I remember being confused by this puzzle. Hang on. What are we supposed to be doing? What do we have here? I have a glove. Oh, this is the game with like a billion uh, notes to read too. All right, let's read this note and see where we left off. As it turns out, the subway tunnel's dead end isn't so dead after all. A huge bank vault is stowed away back there. Some numbers are written on this piece of paper. <laughs> is it a reminder of some sort? That's not a piece of paper. That's a dollar bill. <sighs> 401, 408, and 412. <laughs> okay. On the safe panel, you see four numbers. With the help of the dials, you can add or subtract certain numbers from the given one. Your task is to make all the numbers on the panel equal. Oh, I remember this. I remember being very aggravated at it. Okay, so zero, 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 zero. So we start off with 16, 7, 21, and 3. Uh, blub, 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 blub. Can we get to 10? We might be able to get to 10. I think we can get to 10. Yep. Ha! Ha ha ha! I did a math! Aren't you proud of me? Wow, this is a very extensive bank vault. Thank you, thank you. All right. Banknotes, which are bills, are, let's see, we've got one, two, can they open any of these or do they just stay there? I guess they just stay there. All right, what else? A flask, a ring, gold bars. Gold bars are very heavy. Three cutlery? Oh, there's the ring. Cutlery. There's no, that's not a knife. That's a weird thing to have in a bank vault. Okay. Two roses. There's one rose. And there's another one. Three coins. There are coins everywhere. Okay, maybe not. Never mind. A heart, which I totally saw. Where is it? There it is. A skull. A sword. That's not a sword. That's a cane, right? Yep. Uh, oh, there's a sword. A pen, which I thought I also saw. Maybe not. Uh, oh, no, there it is. I did see it. And three watches. That's a clock. Uh, there's a watch. And that's a watch. And that's a watch. Okay, so cutlery, banknotes. Oh, there's some more. And a flask. I don't know what I'm supposed to be finding in here either. This is a weird assortment of things. Cutlery. Oh, there's a fork. Why is the fork in here? That's so weird. And a cup? No. There's a tiger. And then a key. There's lots of keys in here. More banknotes. And a flask. Oh, that was a cutlery. I mean, it actually looks like it's gold plated, so that could be it, but it's just very strange. Oh, uh, there's an apple. Flask and cutlery. Did I see a flask? I don't think I did. That's a tiger. Is there stuff back here I'm missing? Probably. Huh. Is there a flask? No. 
I have to find one of them. Using two hints is cheating. I can't touch anything in the picture. Like, I can't manipulate anything in the picture. So it's got to be where I can see it, she says optimistically. Oh, there's a flask. I thought there was... That was a necklace, but it was a flask with diamonds on it, apparently. I can use the hint on the last cut. Oh, wow. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have found that. I found a gold bar. What the heck am I going to use that for? I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing, so I probably shouldn't say anything. All right, looks like we're done over here. What's in here? I had to fix the safe lock that someone else broke while attempting to break in and decipher the code. It was not easy, but the reward was worth the effort. I did pocket some of the stolen jewelry and cash for myself. Real nice. And then you wrote it down. Tracking mysteries doesn't pay all the bills. Especially when you're a noob. Plus, when I solve the case, I will increase the order's coffers and give to life... Give life to the agency's dreams. I think that's what it's saying. Okay. There you go. Nice, uh, honest detective there. All right, this is the pump that emptied everything. I already used the oil. I guess that's it for over here. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, I can use the gold bar to break the glass. I could have used any number of things to break the glass. Okay. Wow. This is very kitsch. All right. We need coins. That's a coin. I guess that's coins. There's a coin. An elephant, which I totally saw. Oh, there he is. Right when I looked at the thing. A ring. A boomerang, because there's always boomerangs. A two. A screwdriver. Three bows. Let's find the bows. One. Two. Three. A ship. Need a ship. A corkscrew. Th what? Six hearts. One, two, three, four. And the rest of the hearts. Five, six. And a sun, which I saw like four times. There it is. Okay. A ring, a two, a screwdriver, and a fountain pen. Oh, I missed the fountain pen. There's a screwdriver. There's a key ring. Does that count? Nope. Oh, there's a ring right there. Good job, me. Two and a fountain pen. Oh, there's a fountain pen. Where's the two? Oh, there it is. That's weird. I found a coin on a string. How is that going to help me? All right, here's the dead musicians. I wasn't making it up. Oh, I found a note. Let's see. Be nice to get inside that eyeball thing. Okay, here we go. The doors parted with a screech. I entered the car and stumbled upon a, des ja a dead jazz party. As in it was not happening because all the players were skeletons. It's like a page right out of Kevin Sting's, Stephen King's, books. The saxophone, the drummer, and the bass player all dead. The light flickered and the actress appeared again. She's a ghost. She held a skull in her hands, much like Hamlet did in the, did the skull of poor York. The ghost beckoned me, to me again and pointed at the door at the end of the train. Oh, serious void, I hope you don't consider yourself a man of infinite jest. Let's see. The flood level slowly creeps up the tram windows. We are playing a melancholy melody. What else can we do? Who could have guessed the, more, the mountain hotel gig would send us to a watery grave? Old man void was so kind. If you see a, something, a man in a mask, maybe? Blow his brains out. Something and, oh, maybe for me and my guys? Giuseppe. Well, uh, I guess Giuseppe was not a happy camper at the end of things. So they flooded the place. That's really creepy. This guy, okay. Yeah, because when we came in, it was half flooded, but it wasn't completely flooded. Okay, so we went in here. 
And this goes over to, oh, this is the coin machine. We're getting void cola. That's a broken bottle. Okay. Oh, and this is back in here. All right. You don't need anything on the bicycle. Oh, and what was over here? Oh, this is the elevator we came down in. And, oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, so to open this gate, we need to cut the refrigerator so that the gate goes up. Now, for those of you who have never taken a uh, physical science class, let me explain how that doesn't work. See, in order to get the gate to go up, you have to pull this down. And by pulling this down, it will make the gate go up. If you cut the fridge, nothing will happen. And you probably won't be able to ever lift the gate because you're not going to be able to find something as heavy as a fridge plus something else. But here we go. Oh yeah, it's not even some sort of weird mechanism. Oh! Okay, we were wrong, but that has happened in multiple games. So that is why we thought that. I apologize to the game devs. But get your act together, because that's not the first time that's happened, and we were right the other times. Alright, what am I doing? Safety pin and a lighter. And light bulbs. There's a safety pin. There's a light. A chili pepper. A shrimp. A crowbar. Yay, crowbar! Do we get a crowbar? Can I keep the crowbar? Smoking pipe? Why would you have a smoking pipe in a refrigerator? Crowbar! A frame? I guess that's that. Yep. Popcorn can. Alright. And a spoon. Alright, so lighting, a lighter, and a smoking pipe. Which would actually be things you would use together. I didn't see that. I was just clicking randomly. I also don't see the lighter. Should I just keep clicking randomly? I wonder if this game has any penalties for that. Some games have penalties for um, clicking too much. They'll freeze the screen or move your mouse around it's crazy. Um, wow, I never would have found that. There it is right there. I found a key. Oh, that must be the key to the train, which was locked in the refrigerator. Okay. Right, now we have to figure this thing out. That's not the key? Oh no, that's a button. Where's the key go? The button's lever. I do have an instruction manual, but where does the key go? Nope. I thought that was the keyhole. Breaks the doors. Oh, there's the keyhole. Okay. No? All right, come on now. Buttons, toggles, switches. How do I drive? I have the instructions right over here. They're right here. Insert and turn on the starter key. Oh, there it is. Okay. I found it. Now it is the key for the train. Okay, so now the train is on. Now I have to toggle the switches. Does it matter which way? Guess not. One, two, three. Okay. Switch and engines. Okay, and then we close the train doors. Which was this button. Okay. And then we take the brake off. And we use the throttle. And here we go. I thought this train wasn't finished, though. Like, are we just gonna dead end somewhere? Or are we actually going back to the beginning?
Wow, this is a nice train station. Do I smell something burning? Lock requires an oddly shaped key. Yeah, it does. Um. Oh, it's the ghost lady. The actress, my loyal companion, has gone up the stairs. Dare I follow, fire and all? I don't know, there isn't anything else to do over here, is there? Hey, I couldn't open that before. Whoa, what is this? Note the scheme on the right. Okay. Shift all colored balls according to the cube to open the box. But it's missing one. Oh, this is going to take forever. Go get a drink if you guys are around. Thank you. Oh, that's not even going to work because I have to get all the red ones over here. This is not so much a puzzle as it is an aggravation. Did anybody else notice that I'm putting all of these in the wrong place? Not all of them, all the red ones. Yes, thank you. Go over there. All the red ones need to go over here. So now I have to move the blue ones the exact same way. Well, I was fine. Now I'm irritated. Ugh. Also, it says there's supposed to be nine on each side, and we're missing a red one, so I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work, in theory or in practicality. Yay, I did it! That was annoying. Ah, do we have a potential YouTube audience? I still haven't figured out how this works. Or Twitch audience. Do not enter this. It's death in there. Someone's walled up this door. Must not have wanted to let anybody in. I, I haven't played this in a while. Was that there before? Chest with a lion knocker. So I don't remember being able to interact with anything before. That's a car clicker. Is there a car outside? Oh, yeah. A damaged gas mask? Oh, maybe it's not damaged. What is this? Bizarre. That not the magician's head? That was creepy. Oh, this is the villain's head. That was weird. That was really weird. There's a vulture. Can I go backwards again? No, I guess not. Uh, yeah, I thought last time I was... Oh, that's the... Okay. That's the car. Let's go. No, we're investigating a murder? No, we're investigating disappearances, which we found out was a murder. But, uh... <laughs> bedroom is burnt down. Smoke is everywhere. I need a gas mask. Okay, I, I got a gas mask. There. This is much better. I mean, it couldn't be a lot worse. Oh yeah, I remember being in this room before. I don't remember it getting set on fire. But I guess maybe we need to play games more often. Okay, there's a black rose. A bank note. Two bank notes, actually. There's one. No? That's not one? Hmm, all right. A feather, a horseshoe, two fish. Where's the fish? Fishy, fishy, fishy. There's a fishy. I have decided that one of the cool things I am putting in my office now that it is done and just needs to be decorated is a dollhouse because I love tiny things. And I found on Pinterest and then on Etsy little tiny aquariums. And I want a little tiny fishy aquarium for my dollhouse. So now I just have to figure out which one I want to get 
because if you want to get something really nice on Etsy like that, you are going to spend a good amount of money. So it's going to be like a reward for something. I don't know what, but oh, there you go. I remember that, that was adorable. Two fans. That was so cute. You should see if you can find a picture of it so then I can put it on there. That was a handprint. Uh, put it on the thing when I post stuff to YouTube. I'm posting something to YouTube tomorrow, but you won't know that because this is not going to come out for a long time. I am a month behind on posting things. Oh, that's a fish too. A uh, banknote, feather, and a horseshoe. Oh, there's a razor. That's not what I'm looking for. And the fish would spin and it was so cute. I'm distracted. I'm sure you knew that already, though. Oh, that was a sword. Okay. Uh, banknote, feather, horseshoe, sword. Sword. Oh, there's the other one. I don't know why they're rolled up like that. That's weird. Feather, horseshoe, sword. My screen is not full-sized, again, for those keeping up with these streams. It is a lot bigger than it normally is, though, but it's still about half the size of my actual screen, so it's Tech oh, there you go. It's kind of hard to see, like, really specific detail. I keep thinking that's something. I don't know why. Is that a sword? Yep. Okay. Where's that horseshoe? Horseshoe. Up. Oh, is this it? Yep. Okay. I found a dictionary, apparently. A book. Yeah, it's a dictionary. I don't remember this room being on fire. <laughs> I guess we're done in here? Okay. So now we have a book and a gas mask and a trunk key. Oh, we have a trunk key. Can we go in the trunk? Yes, we can. But did like it catch fire when we left? Maybe? Were we running? No, because we ended up in a secret passageway or something. I do remember that. A domino. And five balls. One, two, three, four. So that, that's not a ball. That's, that's an avocado. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Artichoke. What is wrong with my brain? Uh, light bulb. One, two. I know what light bulbs look like. Three, shush you. I, I, I've been, I'm one week deep in uh, Kid 3 doing remote schooling three feet behind my head. So my brain is a little fried today. What am I even looking for? Okay, ball, light bulb, bolts, flamethrower, lock. Okay, and then a brush, a flashlight, a thimble, a car, a fork, and a tie. There's a car. Hey, that's a Monopoly car. I know what that is. All right, bolts, flamethrower, lock. Let's try that. What is this? It's weird. Bolts, flamethrower. There's a lot of weird stuff in this dude's trunk. That's a flamethrower. Okay. I, I kind of thought it was a vacuum cleaner. Bolts, lock, brush. Bolts, lock. There's a pliers. Can I just take this whole tool bag with me? Because that looks super useful. I saw the thimble, I saw the flashlight. I did not see a fork or a tie. Oh, these are the bolts right there. Duh. There's a fork. Is this a tie? No, there's a tie. We got a flamethrower. I have no idea why we need that, but now we have one. <laughs> What on earth? And we have a fireman badge. We have a fireman badge and a flamethrower. <laughs> okay. Whoa. These gigantic hornets are liable to bite my foot off. That's not how hornets work. I have to kill them, but how? Well, wait, that is a giant hornet. Like that is literally a giant hornet. I'm sorry. I apologize. They would sting you to death and then they would eat you, but yeah, they probably would in fact. Are we just gonna flamethrower them? Yes, we are! Now, now everything's on fire. Uh, I don't think we're very good at this job. 
Here, let's do some reading while everything's on fire. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, we missed some stuff. I forgot we were doing this. The dizzying trip through the tunnel ended in a richly decorated station. It seems this is where tourists would have boarded to travel to the amusement park or mountain hotel. Hmm, is it my imagination or do I really smell smoke in the air? It was not our imagination. Turns out the stairs lead to the foyer of the Void Mansion. All along that hole in the stairs led to the subway station. Seems my ghostly companion rode the train with me. She appeared on the stairs as if to say, follow me. I don't think ghosts need to ride trains, but maybe they do. I, I'm not a big on ghosts. All right. As soon as I entered the hall, I could smell smoke. The rooms where I began my investigation were in flames. No doubt Sirius Void thinks he can obliterate evidence of his crimes, but I will put the fire, <laughs> put out the fire and salvage what I can. <laughs> and then I'll red light everything else on fire. Once I find a gas mask and a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Near the stairwell, I came across a walled up door. Someone painted the ominous message, do not, or don't enter, it's death there. Too bad this is exactly where I need to go. The brickwork is fresh, but I'll find a way to break through it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not good. That little doll thing is creepy. A white car nearly rammed into the mansion porch. The driver was clearly under pressure. I'm sure the car holds plenty of clues, but it's locked with an alarm. I'll have to find the key. The glove box of the car is decima decimated decorated with very familiar figurines. Obviously someone knew who the cast of characters would be in this intricate case before the dramatic events even took place. Duh. That someone is pulling the strings behind the scenes. Serious void? The actress's ghost led me into a deadly trap. On purpose? Who knows? I don't know, but one more step and I would have been stung by a giant hornet. These terrifying insects are clearly Void's creation. I think only fire will defeat them. And then we set them on fire. Vespa Tigris, Tiger Hornet. Caution, deadly poisonous. Yeah, I suppose there's probably poisonous hornets. This species I bred accidentally during a laboratory experiment. An ordinary hornet flew into a bottle of Elixir 22. The thing managed to escape, and one week later, I found a whole brood of tiger hornets in a giant hive, gigantic hive, in the attic. I'm a little afraid of these new creatures, but they're not aggressive if you leave them in peace and don't get too close. M. Void. M. Void is the other guy. Is his name Malleus or something like that? I can't remember. I know, right? It's a nice background music. <laughs> Thanks, brother. These are perfect for my traps. S, -S Void. Ma ha ha ha. Uh, Serious Void is the bad guy and Malleus Void is the good guy. So figure that one out. Okay. So we started a fire in the house after I, uh, we could try to use the fireman's bash. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Okay. Now what? There's nothing in here. Oh wait, I forgot there's a second half of the room. <laughs> Once again, this is where we found a dead body originally. We were like, wait, how, can I go back to the other side of the room? How do I do that? We were in this side of the room for such a long time the first time. And then I finally turned and there was a dead guy just sitting here. <laughs> like I think we would have noticed the dead guy long before that. That's a jackhammer. Fire is out of control. One bucket of water won't be enough. Firefighting equipment is needed. Oh there was a fire a firebox somewhere if I remember correctly. We are fantastic at our job. Where is the f oh no this place this one doesn't have a map. So now I have to remember where the locked firebox was and get there and find an extinguisher. Oh, here it is. Okay, I didn't realize that's what this was. I didn't realize that it was a firebox. I thought it was like a 
kiosk this thing. Wow, that is a lot of equipment. All right, three boots. One, actually that's two boots, but let's not be picky. Uh, let's see, goggles. There's some goggles, but they're on a hat, which I also need. Five hats. Wow, some of those are very old hats. Rope ladder, which we could have used earlier. Dice, which is silly. Fireman's statue. A shovel. Okay, that's a shovel. That's an axe. There's another axe. There's a shovel. A bronze extinguisher. A burning match. Why is there a burning match in here? Also, where is it? You'd think that would be really obvious. And a wall clock. There's the clock. Is that the dice? No. Okay. Boots. Two boots. Where are the other boots? Are these boots? No. Oh, that was a boot. Ah, I knew that. Wait, there it is. Okay, it's not a real burning match. That makes me feel slightly better. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. What was I doing? Boots, goggles, mug. Wait, I just saw the goggles. Is that the goggles? It sure does look like goggles. Uh, and a mug. There's the mug. Why is my phone ringing? It's spam. Stupid phone and spam. Alright, I lost- oh wait, bunch of keys. Dice. I thought I saw the dice when I first looked too. Oh, there they are. I did see them. Okay. Are those boots? No, that's part of a hose. Boots and goggles. Those words are backwards. How is that not the goggles? No idea what that is, but it's not goggles, apparently. Those are interesting, too. The boots are behind the red axe. Yes, they are. Good seeing. And what was the last thing? Goggles. All right, where's the stupid goggles? Oh, really? That I should have seen. Those still look like goggles. Fire extinguisher! Let's go put out the fire! The one that was here already and the one we started. <laughs> Wait, don't let go. Hey, stop it! Okay. Alright, are, are we good now over here? Okay. And we get a burnt up jackhammer. I'm sure that still works. Wait, why does it look like it's still on fire? Ball is red hot. I'm not going to get burned. Squirt it with the fire extinguisher. No? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go put out our bee fire. Hornet fire, sorry. This place is very weird. And the hornets are still there. Good job, me. Wow, that's a lot of weird stuff. All right, I, I thought that said weathering can. No, watering can. Feather. That's a pretty feather. Ship stuff. Okay, well, there's one, two, three. I mean, that's where actual ships, not ship stuff. A banana. Those are persimmons. A glove, a thermometer, a butterfly. Did I just see a butterfly? Yes. A hanger, tweezers, giant tweezers, candy. I had rock cookies today and I'm happy camper. And I will put the recipe in the description again. They are chocolate, peanut butter, no-bake oatmeal cookies. It's actually more like fudge. And they're so good. An oiler and an umbrella. There's the umbrella. Where's the oiler? Uh, I am not looking in the right place. Can't figure out what that's... I mean, that's a Rubik's Cube. But I can't figure out what that other stuff is. And I keep looking at it, trying to figure it out. But that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be finding the oiler. There's an oil lamp. Nothing's hiding in the sky. Wait. Oh, that That's not an oiler. That's an oil lamp. Like Aladdin would have. Okay. 
What on earth? This game has been like this the whole time. If every time we turn a corner, there is something absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> How does one distract a bibliophilic ape? With a dictionary? The origins of man? Oh, that's adorable. What is this? The lock on the actress's diary is an intricate labyrinth. The ball is the key. Oh, I was hoping it was Tetris. The ball is missing. Do I have a ball? No. It is the librarian! Except he was an orangutan, not a gorilla. Orangutans can swing around in the trees. Gorillas are mostly just land-based. Also, everyone needs to read Terry Pratchett. Why did I need tweezers? Was there something stuck here? No. Oh, for the fireplace, I bet. Which is still on fire. And that must be the ball for the diary. I wonder if we're getting to the end. I'm not sure how long this game is. I love this little butt sticking up in the air. <laughs> That's adorable. <sighs> For those just joining us, I'm extremely dyslexic and I hate this game. I already did it wrong. Where am I trying to get it to? There it goes. Okay, I have to get it in the little hole. Got it. Let's see if I can beat this before the skip button recharges, because I'm totally... Ooh, I can! Yay! Good job, me! That must be the actress. Actress. Okay. Uh, you, you have fun reading, Mr. Gorilla. Oh, right. Okay. Someone did me a huge favor leaving a flamethrower in the trunk of the car. <laughs> With it on my hip, the hornets didn't stand a chance. <laughs> on the balcony, a new surprise awaited me. A glasses-wearing gorilla. It seems it ran here from the fairy forest. I'll have to distract the sensible ape to acquire what's under its foot. So weird. Nobody will find or open this diary thanks to Sirius's lock. So I will be completely honest with you, dear diary. The writer and the illusionist died in vain. Each of them needed something special from the void. The illusionists longed for fame. The writer wanted immortality. What arrogance. But I want everything and immediately. Malleus is nearing the end. He's got days tops. His prescription just ran out and Sirius killed the doctor with a deadly dose of morphine. That means no refills. When Malleus dies, oh joy, everything will change and Sirius will belong to me. This game is so dangerous that my acting deserves an Oscar, but I'm up to the challenge and I will emerge the victor. Yeah, pretty much. I guess she was courting the evil void and trying to kill the good void. And apparently it didn't work out well for her cause she did. We didn't miss anything else, right? Nope, okay. So now we have an ID card and a jackhammer. Well, I know where we need to use the jackhammer. I'm just not convinced it wasn't burnt in Void's private quarters. Brick didn't stop me finding an access card, won't either. Oh, we have a visitor. What a Ooga surprise. Booga. Ooga booga. What do you want? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Spidey guy! Take it into the other room! No. You are not doing your homework in here while I'm streaming. Go on! Go do your homework! When, no, it, no, he needs to go do his homework. I, I'll say, I'll do this. Knock, knock, who's there? Luke. Luke who? Luke through the peephole and see. Okay, that one was better. 
Yeah, Kid 3 doing his homework behind me while I stream. Wouldn't that be a fun stream? Right? Frick oh, I need the access card. Let go! That was weird. The door slammed shut behind me. Is this another trap? Please stand by, detective. Congratulations. You've managed to come so close to solving the mystery, it becomes dangerous for Rebecca. I tried to warn you, I tried to stop you, but it appeared to be too stubborn. Well, you left me no choice. When this record is over, the room will be filled with poisonous gas. <laughs> the end. Okay. Oh no! If only I had a gas mask! Which I literally do. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now I can finish this damned in ooh, a curse word, sort of. Investigation. Seems- wow, I didn't see what that said. Um... Oh, what is that? A lever. That is a cool mirror. I need something reflective. I can always cut a piece of this tin- tin foil mirror. Alright. Weird. Oh, uh, this must be Actress Lady's purse. This door is my only escape route. I need to solve its two locks. I need a lever to activate it. Okay. The word bubbles in this game go by way too fast. Press start. The panel on the left will switch on and display a combination of lights. Memory is the combination, and after all the lights go out, press the buttons on the right to make it the same. Oh. That was close. Oh, that's easy. That was right, wasn't it? Oops, I didn't see the last ones. Dang it. That, that? Dag, damn it. Ah, I don't think it went up that high. And now I forget what I was doing. Yep, it was there and that way. Oh, it's harder than it looks. Either that or the last one is the hardest. Oh, well, that's easy. This lock is going to have to be picked. I just need a tool. Okay. Rotate the discs of the lock so that they align with the keyhole's contours. Okay, now what? I'm confused. Oh, there's a middle one. I knew that. That was insanely easy. Malleus Void's wheelchair, but where is Malleus? Apparently he didn't die ten years ago, but disappeared. I mean, just because you don't see him here doesn't mean he didn't die. Also, why is the ghost lady helping the bad guy? I would think sh he killed her. Wouldn't she be, like, unhappy with him? Rebecca Thatcher's access card opened the door to the final mystery of the Void. I think I'm ready for anything, but who knows? <laughs> that means he's alive. Sirius and the ghosts attempt to lock me in a room full of poisonous gas failed. I managed to escape wits intact despite all the criminal's tricks. The gas chamber led to Malleus Void's library. His wheelchair is here, albeit knocked over. As for the man himself, it's as if he disappeared. Again, into thin air of the void. Detective, when you find this note, I won't exist anymore. That doesn't mean I will have died. The truth is much more horrible. Uncle Sam is the bad guy. I'll have turned into serious void. Perhaps you have already guessed that I suffer from a split personality disorder. Malleus void and serious void are one and the same person. Me. We, we guessed this a long time ago. What can I say? This illness has plagued me since childhood when I was mocked and beaten up by my peers who thought me strange and sensitive. Thus, my psych 
plucky, invented Sirius, the tough boy I wanted to be. Then and even now, Sirius was decisive and defended us against this unfriendly world. About 10 years ago, I suffered a debilitating disease that left me in a wheelchair, but it didn't even touch Sirius. My alter ego turned out to be much stronger than me. That's not how multiple personality disorder works. When Sirius takes over, I can walk and harness abnormal human strength. Moreover, Sirius has invented, is as inventive and brilliant as I am. That is how that works. As time passed, Sirius took over more and more and stayed longer, shutting me out. Finally, I called Dr. Eisenspitz. The, the prescription medication he gave me calmed Sirius down. That's when I started building Void's world, my hiding place from people. For different reasons, three people came to the Void Mansion this year, the writer, the magician, and the actress. When Rebecca Thatcher arrived, Sirius returned with a vengeance and everything went wrong. You know what happened next. The doctor died, most likely Sirius, at Sirius's hands. My prescription has run out. Goodbye, and please forgive me. Sincerely yours, Valius Void. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. Well, I guess he's quote-unquote dead because he doesn't have medication anymore. Couldn't he come back if we just gave him more medication? Like, that is how that works, right? Contact the pharmacy, maybe. They can give you a referral. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing? Um, bow tie, carrot, and a slipper. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. That's not a carrot, that's a whip. A slipper, is that a slipper? Yes. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Like any number of phone calls. Oh, there's a carrot. Okay, four bullets and four stethoscopes. Like, I understand you want your doctor to take care of you and you have a relationship with them, but if they're murdered, murdered by someone, you should probably report it to the police and call to get a new prescription for your medication. Like, both of those things seem like the way to go. Generally speaking. Uh, let's see, a snorkel. I thought I saw that too. Four buttons. There's a button. That is a weird face. Kind of looks like Charlie Chaplin. Kind of. I can't speak. I don't know why I can't talk tonight. I have, I'm on my medication, so that's not the problem. Speaking of medication. Uh, mushroom, 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 mushrooms. A wolf. Okay, a shell, two bullets, a, and a stethoscope. I think the stethoscope would be really easy to find. There's a shell. Where's the last stethoscope? Is this it? No. Oh, there it is. I thought that was part of the bag, which was the idea. Two bullets. All right. Is that a bullet? No, that's the top of a perfume container. Da, da, da. It's an eyeball. That's actually one of those eyeballs that the eye doctor has that you can take apart and see like how all the inside of an eyeball works. There's a gun. I bet there's bullets in the gun. Oh, that's a bullet. Okay. Oh, and there's the other one. Great work, I found a book. Fantastic. A mechanical grand piano, that's a rarity. It's special sheet music is even rarer. Mechanical piano? Like as in not electric? All regular pianos are mechanical. Okay, uh, wait, I just saw an eyeglass over here, didn't I? Oh no, that's the piano. Okay, should we go up or let's go up? Because we have a book and I bet this is the final tome is needed to complete the shelf. Oh, what do we got in here? Anything good? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I don't know, maybe. Like a musical or a musical piano, a player piano. That's the word I was looking for. Crime and Punishment, Pride and Prejudice, Paradise Lost. What does that one say? I can't tell what that one says. House of Usher, a fireman or a soldier, a sh short cut through time. Some of these are hard to read, probably on purpose. I don't know what the collective works of John 
Is that Robinson? I can't read that. Again, my screen is not full sky, so I could probably read it if it was bigger. I'm supposed to be doing something here. What am I supposed to be doing? In order to open the secret compartment, identify the necessary books and press them in the right order. I don't know any of those things. The mechanical grand piano in the library is not your usual instrument. It needs special music sheet. If I manage to find it, I can play the grand piano with my sixth, which my sixth sense says I should. Okay. Well, I guess the ones that have titles. I don't understand. All right. Maybe we need a clue or something that we don't have yet. I need a scheme with the image on the tiles. Okay, yes, that is true. A medical kit. What is that? Eyeglasses, okay. I know, right? Aha! My patient and friend, Malleus Void, has hit a dead end. I regret to report that his split personality disorder is incurable. As his consulting physician, I clo closely examined his second personality, Sirius Void, as he calls himself. Sirius is undoubtedly stronger than Malleus, thus the internal struggle for the helm was inevitable. If not for the knockout doses of psychotropic medication, my patient would have been snuffed out. However, it's worth noting that Sirius has recently exhibited emotions uncommon to his sociopathic nature. The stimulus is this paradoxical connection that developed between Sirius Void and, Rebe and Rebecca Thatcher. Simply put, the second personality of Malleus Void is head over heels in love. It's not wise to rush to conclusions, but... And then, okay. Lots of interesting things in the library. A forgotten doctor's bag. He did not know he would never return for it. A door locked with a strange device and a bookshelf missing an essential tome. I have a hunch the bookshelf is a hiding place. Duh. Okay, what's outside then? <gasps> it's him! He disappeared. When I cross the invisible line, the door shut. How can I see the line? You could just jump over it. Ooh, that must be a thing for the... Okay, that's all you're gonna give me, huh? All right, well, let's go do this puzzle. Okay. Oh, I gotta move all of these bricks out of the way. Uh, no, you go here. Yes, okay, good. You're not there. You go here? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, oh, these are all blanks. Oh no, this is gonna have to be stacked weird. All right. All uh, right. Okay. So this is definitely the corner, but it is going to have to be up on blocks. Yes. Okay. But that's probably also going to be to be up on blocks. So then we go to this and that. Oops. No, wrong. That one goes there. That one goes there. And I probably need one over here too. And then what? Where's the bottom corner? You go there. That's the bottom corner. Yeah, 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 there's already a line thing there. Does that need anything at all, then? Maybe not. You go there. You go there. That's an empty one. It was there. You're empty. And you're not there. You go, you go there. You go there. This is a really cool puzzle. Oh, that's not an empty one, either. There. I think it was over here. You empty. You empty. You empty. You go there. You go there. And you're empty one. Oh, exactly. Right. This is incorrect. Okay, so these guys need to be up one more than they are. Yes. Good. Good. Excellent. Okay. And you also need one more. Good. And you need one more. Ha ha! I did it. Weird. It's studio equipment, but the equipment is very strange. Yes, it is. Wait, what year are we in again? Aren't we in like the 50s or the 40s or something? <laughs> this Twitch stream setup. <laughs> Someone has left the video game unfinished. I have no idea what I'm doing. Am I just... Okay, hang on.
There is a graphic on the screen, but it's covered by green cubes. Flip over the cubes to reveal the graphic. Note that the number of clicks is limited. Oh, got it. So I already wasted some of my clicks. This is a very weird picture of whatever it is. Yep, okay. I wasted my thing. Is it the same picture? I don't think that's the same picture. It is not. That's disappointing. What is going on in these pictures? Weird. Oh, I did the wrong one. No, I'm not doing that again. What was that a picture of? Wow, now there's a hologram. That's pretty cool. The actress is not a ghost, but a tangible holographic image. There's no such thing as a tangible holographic image. They are neat pictures, but they're weird. That's a mirror. So she's... There's a play button on the monitor. So she's not real. Or she's not dead, rather. Alright, here we go again. Sirius and the ghost attempt- Oh no, we already did that part. Sirius Void escaped. I just about had him when he snuck out the patio door. I tried to follow, but the door slammed in my face. There must be some intricate alarm system with an invisible proximity sensor. It's impossible to find the alarm's trigger with the naked eye. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I'm kind of surprised you haven't watched Red Dwarf either. That is totally something that would be your jam, Erdite. Right? This room looks like a movie or photo studio with the wardrobe in the center and the brand new shooting equipment. I have a feeling that the actress spent a lot of time here. It seems the computer monitor operates the entire system. Perhaps I should push the play button. One more mystery revealed. The actress's ghost is a fake. Sirius Void, a real man of genius, invented an utterly new technology, living holographic images. Hardly had I switched on the system when the holographic copy of Rebecca Thatcher appeared, but this ghostly woman dropped a real mirror case on the floor. Sirius Void's holographic images are bioenergy copies of real people. Weird. Bravo to Rebecca Thatcher for her role as Haunting Phantom. She and Sirius made many ghostly copies to lure me into, a tra into trap after trap. Note, Sirius Void used the writer as a guinea pig for this new technology. The mechanical grand... Oh, that's... We already read that. And we already read... Oh, we didn't read this, though. This hiding place is an altar dedicated to my beloved. I have painstakingly collected her things and hid them in the mirror. Nobody knows I worship her here, not even Malleus. A sense of terrible foreboding engulfs me. Thus, the lock code to my altar is joyless. The house of Usher, Usher, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, pride and prejudice, paradise lost, and crime and punishment. So we did need a key. A TV ghost. This is the second game we've played with TV ghosts. All right. Interesting. Okay, so. No, not what I was trying to click on. Thank you. That's not a note. Oh, is that notes? Yes. Three ties. Oh, a scare beetle. One, two. Don't see the other one. Four crowns. One, two. So we, we talked about um, Animal Crossing on the stream last time I played. And I told you about a 150,000 bell sword you could buy at Nook's. The, uh, the crowns just reminded me. Yesterday, in uh, Mabel's clothing shop, there was a crown that was over a million bells. It was like a king crown. And, yeah. Uh-huh. You are correct. That is exactly what I said. I'm like, oh, that crown is cool. And then I looked and I'm like, <gasps> I couldn't believe it. I didn't think they had stuff that, that was that expensive in the in the game. But apparently they do. That is a really cute cat statue. Three masks. 
That was not inflation. That was just straight up highway robbery because I'm positive it was not real gold or anything. Oh, I needed the scarab. Wait, what? Where did that comment come from, Aunt? A tie in a pouch. Oh my gosh. Nobody looked that up. <sighs> Moving right along. Are you about to smile? <laughs> I'm not listening to you anymore. All right. House of Usher, Dr. Jekyll, Pride, Paradise, Crime. House of Usher, Dr. Jekyll, Pride, Paradise, Crime. Oh, that is creepy. He actually does have a little shrine to the actress lady. Lady, you should run, not walk out of here. Wow. Not, not good. Not good at all. Oh, that's a pretty fan. All right, five keys. One, two, three, four. That was more than that, but that's okay. What else? Oh, one more key and a bird. I just saw a bird. Where did I see the bird? There's a butterfly. And a sewing machine. Two butterflies. Oh, I need two butterflies. Oh, there's another butterfly. Oh, there's another butterfly. Oh, there's a sewing machine. Oh, there's the angels. And a heart. And a shoe. A bird and a hat. That's a hat. Nope. This is a hat? Yes. There's a hat. Okay. A key and a bird. Where's the stupid bird? There's the bird. I knew I saw it. And one more key. That's not a key. That's an anchor. Oh, it was hanging on a key. <laughs> and I found a sharp piece of mirror. Okay. Am I done in here? I hope so. It's very weird in here and I don't like it. Oh, now I have to set up like a mirror thingy. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the piano music. Interesting. Okay. Executioner. What is that supposed to be? A pin? And a compass? And a magnifying glass? And a sword? And a mouse? And death? And a heart? That was a regular everyday piano. There was nothing mechanical about that that isn't the same with every other piano in existence. Okay, a razor blade, three dice. Do we see dice? One, two, three. A horseshoe, three bells. Is that a bell? No, it's an opera glass. One, that's not a bell. Oh, that's a horseshoe though. Two, Three, four records. One, two, three. I might be getting a record player. I haven't told Erdite this yet. I wonder if he's still here. Oh yeah, he just was the last comment. I might be getting a record player. So the Encanto soundtrack is coming out in vinyl. And there's one that's like the old records I had when I was little that has like the front of the whole record, the actual LP, is a picture of the family all together in a group. And then the other one, which I think I'm more interested in, is like the green color of uh, Bruno's Prophecies. It's just like solid green and it looks so cool. And I love records. It broke my heart when my record player broke and I finally had to get rid of it. So yeah, I am ser- actually, uh, Kid 2 was telling me about the records, even though I knew about them already. I'm like, yeah, we should get it. He's like, but then we'll only have one record. I'm like, that is not how that works. No, no, I am not a hipster. I still have a couple of my records that I had when I was a kid. This is just me being a Luddite, not a hipster. 
in order to be a hipster, you have to start out not having records. <laughs> There's a difference. Alright. I need a razor blade and two crowns. Just seems like... Oh, there's another one I should have found already. Where's the other crown? And where's the razor blade? So yeah, I, I might be getting a record player. Isn't it cool? Because the one with the face, that looks like... I used to have a Pinocchio one and a um, Snow White one, and they were really cool. But I really like that green one. It's really neat looking. So I don't know. I might have to get it. Like, somebody's going to have to twist my arm, right? Where is the razor blade? And what kind of razor blade are we talking about? Are we talking about one of those little straight razor blades again? Or like, a straight razor? I don't see it. Wow, that I don't know if I would have found. Even though it's something there. It looks really cool, and I kind of want it. So, like... I'm supposed to set up, like, a mirror thing here, aren't I? Like, isn't that the idea? Yeah, no, the glasses... I thought that was part of the reflection thingy. Oh, okay. Nope. So which one do I put this on? Oh, okay. That's not how those work. That's just blocking the laser. The blade, the trigger, it would trigger everything. Wait, that's a mirror, isn't it? No, no. Wait, why isn't that doing what I want it to? Okay, not that one then. All right, that would totally work. I mean, there's only one thing. I could totally... Why isn't that working? What am I supposed to do here? This is a reflective surface. Oh! I forgot about the tinfoil. I mean, this razor is also reflective, guys. I thought I was going to use the glasses as part of the reflection thing. Okay, so with these doors, when it no longer connects across, it triggers. You have to trick it to think that it's bouncing back, not just to redirect it out of the way. Oh no, he's getting away! There's a squirrel. <laughs> okay, um... Are we going to do a car chase game, or are we just going to do a cutscene? Uh-huh. That was a wild race to the Mountain Hotel. Seems serious. Lost control of his car just ahead. A battery. Okay. Thank you. We don't need the radio on. What did we see? Uh, see what's going With the help of ultraviolet glasses, I found the alarm system's trigger. There are invisible light beams just before the patio doors. As soon as I touch them, the doors shut. This in invention of voids shouldn't be too difficult to overcome. I just need to install some reflective surfaces to scatter the beams. Yeah, that's not how that works. Let's see. Serious Void drove away like a bat straight out of hell, right before my very eyes. He turned down some winding dirt roads in the direction of the Mountain Hotel. Looks like the final chase is on. Good thing my car is parked nearby. The wild chase is over. The roundabout road brought us back to the Mountain Hotel. It appears Serious Void crashed his car into the gates of the on the other side. I need to search his car and find a way in. There's no time to lose. Why do I need to search his car? What is this? Facts of the case. MV and SV are one person, but split personalities. SV injected doctor with lethal dose of morphine. JS came to the mansion to manage the amusement parks 
Void's world at the request of MV. SV convinced the monsters created by MV to cast SJ in metal, literally turning him into the Golden Master. KS came to Void Mansion to obtain immortality and conquer his fear of death. SV's experiment failed, and KS's head became a hologram. I remember that part. That's this guy. RT became acquainted with MV, and during one of her visits to the mansion, MV turned into SV right before her eyes. SV is in love with RT. She has great power over him and uses him to carry out her ambiguous plans. Conclusion. All the missing people staged their disappearance, thus skirting the police and masking their true intentions. The doctor, magician, writer were murdered explicitly by Sirius and implicitly by the actress. The actress, Rebecca Thatcher, is the secret puppet master of all the intrigue. So she wanted to get everybody else killed, and then she got rid of the good guy, and now she's going to kill the bad guy? Maybe? All right, do I need anything else in here? Oh, a gun! Not going to take the gun. Secret? What is that? Tape recorder. I don't need valuable evidence. I need to catch the dude. Take the gun. Nope, not gonna do it. This telephone calls the real world. If I find a receiver, I can call the police after I finish my investigation. The receiver is in the train tunnel. I saw it and you wouldn't let me pick it up. Okay. Oh, this is the other guy's. No, this is my car. Where's the other guy's car? It's gone. Oh, it's the puppy. Poor thing is still changed to the doghouse. I'll fix that. I just have to unsolder his doggy collar. Wow, what is all that about? How can I widen the hole in the porch steps? Why do I want to? All right. The intercom is completely destroyed. I'll need to put together Void's access card. I mean, if it's completely destroyed, how is that going to help me? Nothing will open the door now but Void's access card. I would guess so. I mean, we're at the final chase. We just said that. I'm just not entirely sure what we're supposed to do. Face cube and battery. Oh, here's more. Sirius ran over the angel. At least its arm didn't shatter. That's a gauntlet, not a statue arm. Ooh, a shovel. Can't I take the shovel? That would be a good weapon, since you're not gonna let me take my gun. Phew, the car looks dented, but not wrecked. I want to take Sirius Void alive. Shh. Lame. You already killed three people. My intuition is right. This hole is worth investigating. I can't go in... But my backup can? Oh, maybe the dog's going to go in there for me. An electrical circuit of the lock is out of order. I could do something if I had a battery. Okay. What am I doing? Arrange the fuses to complete each circuit. To achieve this, first complete the red circuit by connecting it to each end of the battery. The fuses will light up and the blue circuit will close when this is done successfully. Then I have to come- okay, so I have to do this one first, is what they're telling me. Uh, that's weird. Oh. What exactly do I need to connect here? That to that, well, this to this, and that to that. What's this battery for? Maybe like that? Nope. Oh wait, there's one all the way up there. No, not there. There. That didn't do- Oh, wait, like that? Ha ha! I win. Still don't want- Serious Void's revolver, an old but effective- efficient... You have a gun in your car! Hmm. That looks pretty sharp. <laughs> Leave the control. <laughs> oh, a crowbar! Yay! I've been waiting for a while to get a crowbar. I mean, yes, but like, grab your own gun first. 
Heaven's sakes! How dumb! Can I use the crowbar on this? That'd be tricky. No, I didn't think so. Now I have a ladder. Oh, I can go this way. Oh, no, this is just this. Do I need anything in here? Oh, the tape player. Yeah, that's something I desperately need right now is a tape cassette. All right, we have to get the dog out of there. Oh, I need something to widen this. That I can use the crowbar for. That's more of the card. Did it take my crowbar? It did. Go this way. Oh, I forgot we could go over here. Looks like someone set another trap for me. If only I had a crowbar. That was dumb. Oh, we have to do this again. Okay, airbrush. As opposed to a hairbrush. A golden cup. Four roses. One, two, three. This last one. Around. Three brushes. One, two. That's a broom. Close, though. Three. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, that was so annoying. There was this crazy, like, noise coming from this because I guess it, probably because it was raining and it was just, it would not stop. It totally followed us for like five screens deep into the house. It was crazy. All right, a pipe, a car, a knife, a syringe, a paw print, glasses, cable coil, and a hammer. Oh, there's the hammer right there. A syringe. Out of all the things there, that's the thing you picked, huh? All right, what am I gonna do with a syringe? Well, I can get the doggy out. Let's do that. Yay, good doggy. It's a good wolfhound puppy. You are a very big doggy. Like, almost as big as me. I don't know how you think you're gonna fit in that hole if I can't. Puppy goats in the pocket. Oh, look, he found me a bag. All right, let's see, a coin. Oh, that's a poker chip. Poker chip, poker chip. Three pens, one, two, that's not one, is it? No, nope, that's a pipe. A comb. Glasses. A ruler. Dentures. Yum. An ID card. That, well, part of an ID card. A feather. A walnut. And thread. All right. So a coin, a pen, feather, walnut, and thread coin is a quarter. A pen, feather, walnut, and thread. There's another gun. Thread. Pen. Feather and a walnut. There's an owl. Up oh, there's the feather. Where's the walnut? Up oh, there it is. Cleverly blended. Okay, was that the whole thing? Yes. Alright, now we guess we can go back guess the doggy gets to stay there. And we put this in. Oh no, it's only three uh, things, so that won't work. Broken glass and a syringe. There's nothing else here. There's nothing else here. We need a receiver, but that's all the way back at the other place. And it's not gonna let me leave, right? No, it is going to uh, let me turn the radio on there. So, that's good. Right, there's nothing else here. And I need bullets for his gun. Oh, I need this. This I can use. And that's the rest of the card. All right. 
You want to come back with me, doggy? No, you're just going to sit there? Okay, you have fun sitting there. That looks a good place for you to stay out of the way. Insert ID. Uh-huh. The dial indicators spin at different speeds. Duh. There are buttons on the side of each dial which alter the speed, make all the indicators rotate at the same speed to unlock the door. All right, well, this one's spinning too fast, and this one's spinning too slow. This, that's as fast as this one can go. All y'all need to go slower. There we go. Wow, nice hotel, if it wasn't destroyed. If I peek into the gable window, I can see what's going on there, but it's too high up. That's a window. Really? Actress is speaking loudly on the phone. How can I record the conversation? Ooh, it looks like she's going to skip town with Void's money. Shame on you, lady. Oh, yay, I can... Oh, if I only had a piece of glass, I could cut that off. Oh, I forgot about this again. Well, just... <laughs> Not far from the hotel, I came across a telephone booth. It seems this is the only way to get in touch with the outside world. I will call the police as soon as I wrap up the investigation, but not before. They have a tendency to muff things up. Ugh. You're not doing real great either. You set the house on fire. The dog's name is Dog Meat. Sure. When I reached the hotel stairs, my old friend barked a greeting to me. I didn't get a chance to cut his chain earlier, but I resolved to free him now. I'll even take him with me when the investigation is over. Sirius ran over the angel statue at full speed and crashed into the gates of the backyard. Fortunately, he didn't die. I mean, I guess. I will catch him alive so he can pay the consequences of his actions for years to come. There's no doubt that the actress and he are inside the hotel. That's a Fallout reference. Really? I did not play Fallout. I can't play those kind of games. First person types because they make me nauseous. The intercom is completely out of order. The only way to open the door is to find and assemble the pieces of Void's access card. It can open any door in the hotel. If I insert the card in the intercom, the door might open. Ah, were they third person where you follow behind them with the camera? Because if it's not a fixed camera, I can't play it. Rebecca Thatcher has locked herself in the guest room and already packed her things. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Money, jewelry, and more importantly, invaluable patents for all of Void's inventions. She's talking to somebody on the phone, absolutely sure of her escape. Let's see if I can stop her. I mean, if she's locked herself in a room, all you have to do is block the door so she can't get out. Sirius loves me. Oh yes, I've reached my goal. It was so easy. It's true he's fierce and cruel, but he is also naive. I convinced him to get rid of that bothersome Malleus. I told him that idiot was stifling his talents because I knew Sirius's incredible inventions would bring me money and power. Sirius will do anything for me. Together we made three holographic images of me. Each will fulfill her own purpose. They're almost alive and play act nearly as artistically as I do. The detective will follow them. Step by step, my holographic images will lead him into the traps. If he escapes the hornets with his life, the poisonous gas will steal it from him. Real nice, lady. I mean, she has suitcases of money. We only have pockets of money. I will break the lock and trap. That's what I said. Nothing yet. Nobody's standing near the door. I don't know why I need that. Oh, this must be this thing. Looks like. Okay, what is going on here? In order to open the lock, you must remove all three metal cubes simultaneously. The cubes move together in one direction when you click the arrows. When the cubes come in contact, they disappear. So I have to have all of them cr crunch each other at the same time? How am I going to do that? Yeah, I don't think that was going to work. Yeah, no, um, I did the exact same thing twice. Did everyone see that? Oh my gosh. Eh, screw this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, I think I shall pass. Oh, isn't this a very pretty fluffy room? All right, let's see. Five angels. One, 
two, three, four, what else? A hookah, which is a good word. Hookah is a good word. A pagoda. Pagoda is also a good word. I don't see a pagoda, but it's a good word. Ah, uh, let's see. A cassette. Oh, that must be what we need in this picture for the tape player. Three horses. One. An eyeball. There's a dragon and a flamingo. And a horsey. Two. And a phone. Rented hookahs? Ew! That's disgusting! There is no way you could convince me that those were clean. That's very gross. Uh-oh, I hear Kid 3 stomping off in the background. Oh, there's a horsey. Ugh. Yeah, no, that's gross. Five shoes. Is that a shoe? No. Weird. When was that? That must have been full hipster times. When is that? Oh, that's a king. I am not finding any shoes. Oh, there's a shoes. There's a fan. Okay. Alright, hand, mask, and umbrella. That's a hand. Here's a shoe. There's an ice cream cone. That's a little weird. Oh, there's another dragonfly. Mask. I know I- oh, there's the umbrella. I knew I saw an umbrella. I need more umbrella. Ba ba ba. Um, nope. Umbrellas. I don't know why I can't say that. Angel Pagoda Cassette Tape. Here's an umbrella. And another shoe. That's a giant pen. Oh, there's some more shoes. A cassette tape. That doesn't look like a cassette tape. If it is, it's a very weird looking cassette tape. Is that? Oh, that's an angel? It looks like a turkey. What is that? Oh, there's a mask. Alright, pagoda shoes umbrella. Oh, there's the shoes. Oh, there's the pagoda. That's not a pagoda. That's the roof of a pagoda. And I need an umbrella. Hmm. Where is it? Oh, I see it. I wouldn't have found that. That does not look like a standard cassette tape. That's one of those little mini ones, which I guess makes sense since it's going in a mini. Oh, that's just her. Why does that room have a little mirror that you can look in? All the locks that use voice recognition. Locked. Maybe the mechanism on the left will help? Oh, okay. I thought that was a door, too. So, what did I get? I need the tape cassette from my car. I mean, tape player from my car. And not the gun. Just don't want to check and see if there's any bullets in that one, huh? Okay, we have evidence. Oh, I can use that to open the door. Though I assume you have to say, like, a certain thing. Okay. Oh my gosh! Is he dead? I tried to poison himself, but he's still breathing. I need to find an antidote at once. Okay. A letter opener. I don't think he poisoned himself. He was just running away from me. She probably poisoned him. Uh, let's see. An ink pot. Three rings. One. There's a crown. Two. <laughs> yeah, right. We have to find the antidote! Key ring. Even though we have no idea what we're looking for or where it could possibly be. A uh, safety pin. I just saw the safety pin. There it is. Two fish hooks. One. Where was the other one? Two. Three owls. There's a conductor. That's pretty cool. There's a thimble. There's an owl. It's a very weird owl. Uh, two screws. One. Where's the other one? Oh, that's a pen. Interesting. Two. That's actually a bolt. That's okay. A fountain pen. There's the cap for a fountain pen. Oh, that's a letter opener. Wow, I wouldn't guess that. 
Where's the pen part? Oh, that's a dip pen, not a fountain pen. A razor blade. Why do we have to find so many razor blades in this game? That's a VHS tape. I don't remember what year this was supposed to take place in, but I'm pretty sure that some of these things weren't supposed to be there at the time. Oh, there's the other owl. Okay. Ring, key, owl, razor blade, and star. Ring, there's a star. Key, is that a key? Yep. Key, there's owl. Yeah, unless they said it earlier and we weren't paying attention, or we forgot because this game is just so bonkers that how could you remember everything? Where's the razor blade? I don't know. This is a very coolly put together find it puzzle. Wow, I would not have found that. Ew, it's got blood on it. Gross. Alright, uh... It's not too late to give him an injection of the antidote. Oh, that's just his hand again. Okay, where do we find that? Aha! Antidote. There's no way he actually poisoned himself. Why would he do that? That doesn't make any sense. Phew, his breathing has evened out. It's weird, but I almost feel, so fierce, feel sorry for him. Okay, so we gave him an antidote. We're just gonna leave him sit here. I guess. We have one bullet. And we're gonna go get the gun from his car, finally. We could have been carrying that the whole time. And shoot somebody? Shoot this? Ha 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 ha. I locked you in the room. It's not supposed to be funny. You're under arrest. Wait, no, I went this way. King Kevin Sting, Gerald Springs, Rebecca Thatcher, Doctor Whoever, the Milkman, the Police, and Elephant Games. <laughs> cute guys, cute. Oh nine seven. Five, three, eight, two, call. Did that work? No. Oh, I have to do the plus button first? Heaven's sakes. Oh, nine, seven, five, three, eight, two, call. I think we just beat it? A helicopter! We could have called the police much earlier in the game. Rebecca Thatcher was arrested on suspicion of several crimes. The police confiscated stolen goods totaling over one billion dollars from her room. That's a lot! Sirius Void was taken to Maximum Security Hospital in grave condition where he is awaiting trial. Mystery Tracker's agency remains in the shadows, as does the identity of the mysterious detective who solved the case of the Void. They go through those words way too fast. Tracking a mystery, the void. Oh, I got most of them. Oh, I didn't read the things at the end. Oh well, we'll never know now. Bonus contents. That's the music, screensaver, bizarre. Wallpapers. I guess that's his mugshot. Wow, it's a creepy Uncle Sam. Mystery trackers. The void. It's Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad is awesome and I love him. Oh, that must be for the magician. That's weird. Gerald Springs, the illusionist. 
Kevin Sting, the writer. That's creepy. Rebecca Thatcher, the actress. These are terrible wallpapers. Ooh, that's really cool. Mystery Trekkers, the void. Actress. Full moon. Mystery track. Oh, this must be Mystery Trackers 2? Weird. Yes. Concept art. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at other people's creative talent. That was not what I was expecting. <clears throat> sorry. Oh, that's cool. That was what I was expecting. <laughs> These are very nice. Actually, this looks better than the actual setup. That is all kinds of creepy. Yep. All kinds of creepy. He is also all kinds of creepy. I don't know why they settled on a demented Uncle Sam as the main villain. I don't quite get that. Oh, that's cute. They have it, like, superimposed over itself. Oh, and there's the goblin troll. Papercraft? What? Oh my gosh. You can print out a paper sculpture and make a little tiny serious void. I'm not doing it right. Oh, wow, you can make all of them. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, no. You can make Serious Void and the actress and the magician and the writer. Wow. That is something I have never seen in one of these games before. Congratulations. It's terrifying. No, thank you. I think I will print them out and do them, though. Maybe I'll... That'll be, like, bonus content. Extra gameplay! Um, except we've been playing for two hours, so let's do the extra gameplay next time. Because that might be another half hour, 45 minutes. It's hard to say. It might be 15 minutes. They never really give you a good idea of how long that bonus chapter is going to take. Okay! Well, that was a roller coaster ride. Uh, that was one of the weirdest games I've ever played in the I've turned a corner and what on earth am I looking at? Like, a lot of them are weird and have strange concepts, but it's never like you just get to a new scene and what on earth am I looking at? It's more like plot twists or somebody does something or you trigger something in a room. It's not you turn the corner after seeing giant bees and there's a gorilla with glasses. Like, that's not a thing in most games. So yeah, that, uh, that, was, that was different. I like those. Those are something else. <laughs> so next time we will do the bonus chapter. And maybe, maybe... I have to figure out how I could film myself and stream it. If I can't, I might just make a video of, it, video of me with uh, doing the paper craft and then put it on YouTube. I'm not sure how that would work. I guess I could use my webcam pointed down. That might work. I'll have to test some stuff out. All right, so... That was Mystery Trackers, so that means next week is Grim Tales, The Bride. Face... No. <laughs> no, my office is not clean enough yet. You get to see my face when my office is done. <laughs> right now, it looks like, like, well, okay, there are gremlins that live here, but they're my kids. It, it, it's a disaster right now. No face reveal. Uh, but we can see my hands and the top of my desk because the top of my desk is clean. And that way I could do the paper craft. We'll see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But next time is Grim Tales. Yeah, you know what? If I, can if I can figure out how to do that, and I'm pretty sure I can, since we only have the bonus chapter left of Mystery Trackers, we'll do the bonus episode. And then I'll have it all set up with all the pieces cut out 
for the paper guys. And we can do the paper guys at the end of that one, because that should be a shorter episode. And we'll see how many we can get through before I decide that this is the stupidest idea ever. I'm thinking one, but it's hard to say. <laughs> I've made paper crafts like that before. And I'm not the best at it. Of course I'm going to do the villain one. He's the most interesting. And that is it. And I am Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye!